Today, we're going to solve problems using D'Alembert's principle. Before that, guys, ato sa nga differentiate ang Newton's law of motion o ang D'Alembert's principle. Actually, guys, kani silang duha parehar ni sila. If we're going to solve problems using Newton's law of motion o ang D'Alembert's principle, they will have the same answer. But ang D'Alembert's principle is nalang siya limitations. So, diri sa Newton's law of motion, makasolve ta og problems nga at constant velocity. Makasolve po tag problems nga at rest. O makasolve po tag problems nga accelerating. While, here sa D'Alembert's principle guys, we can only solve problems that is accelerating. So, if you read a problem nga nag-accelerate siya or decelerate, then we can apply the D'Alembert's principle. Or if you want to solve that problem using Newton's law of motion, pareha raga po ang makuha nga answer guys. So, any of the two nga pag-solve ni mo, makuha raga po ka o the same answer. So, let's try this problem guys. Actually guys, this problem is a Newton's law of motion. So, let's try to solve using the Alimbert's principle if makuha, makakuha ba ito the same answer. So, ang kanina nga problem, kung ato na siyang isolve o Newton's law of motion, makakuha ito answer nga 207 Newton. So, let's try using the Alimbert's principle if makakuha ba ito the same answer. So, first, let's read the question. A farmer is lifting some moderately heavy rocks from a field to plant crops. He lifts a stone that weighs 40 pounds or 180 newtons what force does he apply if the stone accelerate at a rate of 1.5 meter per second squared so as i've said guys if a problem is acceleration or if a problem have acceleration then we can use the d alimbert's principle so let's illustrate the given guys so a stone let's say this is a stone the stone is a stone is lift by a farmer mano siya ang arog so gialsa siya sa farmer and ang stone na siya ay weight nga 180 newton. And then, unsa pa lang given guys, ang iyang acceleration is 1.5 meter per second squared. Ang iyang ask kay what force does he apply if the stone accelerates at a rate of 1.5 meter per second. So, this is the force guys nga itong ipangita. Ang force P, ang iyang pag-lift sa stone. So, sa pag-lift niya sa stone, ang stone, kay wala na na-touch sa surface. Sir, so, wala tayo frictional force, kay wala man siya na-touch sa surface. So, ang all forces, kay mauron ni siya duhara. Ang, ang force nga gi-applied, kani og ang weight. Now, if we can, the D'Alembert's principle, guys, ang mini sa D'Alembert's principle is muadag isa ka for, force nga opposite sa motion. So, atong motion man is arrow up. So, muadag isa ka force nga arrow down arrow down Aton siyang tawagon og FR guys or the D'Alembert's principle nga force so ni add ko sa ka force padung sa ubos and also guys FR is equals to MA so we can substitute MA sa ato ang FR so let's try guys the summation of forces in y direction is equals to 0 so, let's add all the forces in y direction. So, F is positive kay going up siya. While FR and W is um, negative kay yung direction is going down. F minus weight minus FR equals 0. Let's transpose both weight and FR. So, F equals W plus FR. So, substi let's substitute the value, guys. F equals, ang weight na to is 180 Newton. Plus, now guys, remember, FR is equivalent to MA. So, our mass is, oh, wala pa tayo mass, guys. So, let's, let's get the mass first. So, mass, mass can be extracted in the weight formula. And weight is equals to mg. So, we have a weight of, 180 newton equals to m and we have a gravitational acceleration that is 
So, let's divide both sides by 9.81 para makancel. And then, 180 divided by 9.81 is 18.3486 kilogram. So, now now that we have the mass, guys, we can sub substitute the FR sa ato ang MA. So, natay M or mass nga 18.3486 and natay a acceleration nga times 1.5 so the force is 207.52 newton so nakakuha tag the same answer guys using the newton's law of motion even if atong gi-apply nga principle is ang d'alembert's principle so ang d'alembert's principle is wala siya ni oppose sa newton's law of motion instead different ways siya sa pag-solve. So, remember guys, now we can only use the Lambert's principle if the object is accelerating, guys. So, if the object is only at rest or at constant velocity, then we have no choice but to use only the Newton's law of motion. So, let's try a problem that is the Lambert's principle. What horizontal force P can be applied to a 100 kg block in a level surface with coefficient of friction of 0 0.2 that will cause an an acceleration of 2.50 meter per second so as you can see guys we have an acceleration so let's try to solve this using the Alimbert's principle so first guys let's illustrate the given so it states here guys nga natay 100 kilogram nga block and ang ipangita niya nga force is ang force P the horizontal force P in a black surface with a coefficient of friction nga 0 0.2. So this time guys na natay frictional force. Ato na siyang tawagon og FF. Pero ang ato ang given here is only the coefficient of friction that is 0 0.2. Also given acceleration is 2.5 or 2.50 meter per second squared. So atong gipangita diri sa problem guys is kaning force P. And using the D'Alembert's principle, we will add another force that is opposing sa motion, sa direction sa motion. So, ito na siyang tawagon o FR. And FR is equals to MA. Another forces that is acted on the block, guys, is the weight and the normal force. So, let's try solving the force P. So, the summation of forces in x direction is equals to 0. The force P is going to the right, so positive da. Natay frictional force nga going to the left, negative. And also, our FR is negative. Equals 0. And so, let's transpose this. Ang kaning duha, guys. So, P is equals to frictional force plus FR. Now, guys, ang FR na to is equals to MA. Pero ang atong frictional force is wala pati value, value sa frictional force. So, we can use the formula for frictional force. Another formula nga, coefficient of friction multiplied by the normal force. Now, we already have the coefficient of friction but we don't have the normal force. So, let's try solving the summation of forces in y direction. Equals 0. So, Fn is going upward. So, that's positive. And the weight is going downward, that's negative equals to 0. So, let's transpose the weight. So, we can arrive a uh, formula that Fn is equals to weight. And in solving weight, that is mg. So, weight is equals to 100 times 9.81. Weight is 981 Newton. So, if Fn is equals to weight, then Fn is 981 Newton. Now, na natay Fn, guys, we can solve for the frictional force. So, frictional force is equals to coefficient of friction 0 0.2 multiplied by the normal force 981 Newton. So, we can get the answer 196.2 Newton. Now that we already have the frictional force, guys, now we can solve for the P, the value for P. So, P is equals to 196.2 plus 
remember guys, FR is FR is equals to MA. So, plus the mass is 100 multiplied by the acceleration 2.5. So, in solving for P, we can get the value 446.2 Newton. So, next problem guys.